So that means depending on when they purchased, yeah, they don't even have the average home. Yeah, exactly. So how are those people meant to have a family? Well, mate, what I learned doing the podcast with Professor Paul Spoonley the other day is they're not. And <laughs> we, we are not replenishing our population. So but it's we not, need about a two point something. Did he, uh, did he understand that it's because of the money? Uh, I don't think they really like to take sides. <laughs> fix <laughs> the money, fix the world. Eh? Yeah. 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 Like, how, like that person, they're probably like really hard working, young couple, they've gone to their house, they've done the right thing. They've effectively tried to copy mum and dad. Yeah. And worked for which them. worked for them yep. because they had a slower inflation pace. And, you know, they're getting, they, they can't have kids because they've got 1200 bucks a month left over and daycare is two grand. Yeah. Well, they didn't have a slower inflation pace, but they had a lower baseline that it was starting from, right? Yeah. So if, if you take, like I think, I always go right back to say 1971 when Nixon took the US dollar fully off the gold standard. That's when this all started to get yeah, really unhinged. It is. And that's when we had a real big push for um, equal rights, right? Funnily enough, let's have women in the workforce now. It's actually also true. Not you know, it's just needed two incomes, the reality.